Hello everyone, welcome to another video from my YouTube channel. In today's video we will be talking about bubble charts or bubble diagrams. A bubble chart is a variation of a scatter chart in which the data points are replaced with bubbles and an additional dimension of the data is represented in the size of the bubbles. Just like a scatter chart, a bubble chart does not use a category axis. Both horizontal and vertical axes are value axes. Visually, this chart looks like a scatter diagram. The only difference that you can notice is the size of the data points, which are smaller in scatter diagram and all are of the same size. But in a bubble chart, these data points are of bigger and varying sizes. In addition, in a scatter diagram, the x and y axis do not represent values. For example, in this diagram, the x axis is the plant percentage completion and the y axis is the actual percentage completion. First, we will talk about this bubble chart. What does it represent from this table? Then we will go and prepare a bubble chart just looking like this off this table in Microsoft Excel. So to better understand bubble charts, this bubble chart is prepared using the table given for this program. There are a list of projects in this program which is color coded here and also shown in here. This specific bubble chart is for the percentage completion, actual completion, and scheduled performance index of each project. So you as a project manager, or you as the top management, can decide on the projects in your program. For example, AGH project was planned to be 10% completed till date, but its actual completion is 3%. So the scheduled performance index will be 0 0.3. So as you can see, project AGH here and the data point, it was planned, the planned completion was 10%, which will come in here. The actual completion is 3%, which comes somewhere here, and it's SPI 0 0.3. So a bubble chart represents the data in three dimensions. You can see the planned completion, you can see the actual completion, and you can see the SPI. The same chart could be generated from the cost point of view. We have the budget, we have the actual cost, and we have the CPI. For example, the horizontal axis will be our actual cost. The vertical axis, or the y-axis, will be our total budget of the project, and the SPI will be size of the bubble. So this is how bubble charts help you in project and program management. And even some bigger companies use it for its portfolio management. You can see all your program or you can see all your portfolio at a glance. And you can decide about projects very easily through the data and information given in a bubble chart. Now, let's go step by step. How do we create bubble charts using Microsoft Excel? In order to create a bubble chart using Microsoft Excel, to select your data. For example, I want to see my planned percentage completion, my actual percentage completion, and my scheduled performance index. So I'm selecting only these three columns. From here, we go to insert to other charts, and in here, we have bubble charts. We will select the bubble chart. A diagram like this appears. Let's format this diagram a little bit and see what our end product will look like. For example, the x-axis is from minus 20% up to 120%. We want to keep this range from 0% up to 100%. So in order to do that, 
you right click on the axis, format axis, you go to the axis option. Our minimum, which was minus 20% or minus 0 0.2, we will set this to zero. Our maximum will be one, which will be 100%. So we will close this. As you can see, it's from zero to 100%. On the vertical axis, as you can see, the difference between each line is 10%, while in here it's 20%, which looks less polluted. So we will change this range to 20% as well. Right click on the axis, format axis, will come in axis options to minor and major units. We will change it to 20% or 0 0.2. The minor will be changed to 20 as well, and we will close this, as you can see now. I'm leaving this minus 20 percent because this part of the bubble will not appear if I take it from zero person. Now, let's delete this series name. Let's color code our, our bubbles. For example, this bubble is for the project 0 0.3, project number one, AGH project. So I will go and format, I will give the same color as it's given to AGH project in here. For BLM project with 0 0.90, this project, the color is green, some greenish thing, I will pick that color for this one too. For CCS project, which is 0 0.42. Let's see which project. This project, we will select the color as for DIA project, which is 0 0.69, which is this project, the color is, I, I'm not good with color, so it's a greenish color. I will pick the color. I don't know what, it's lime or whatever. And for ELM project, 0 0.87, the color is given as red, we'll color it in red, and this project we will color it in uh, yellow. So, next we have the x axis, which has one part of the percentage completion, y axis, another part. In order to show the size of each bubble, size of each bubble in here will be the SPI. Right click on the bubble, go to add data labels, it will show the percentage. But if you click on the person, right click on the percentage and format data labels, you will select the bubble size from here, you will delete the y value. From here you can change the label position, for example they are on the right now, if you go to the left they will go to the left, if you want it in center they will show it in center. We'll prefer this right one, so this is done too. And we will name our both our horizontal and vertical axis in order that it's clear for the team to show which, which part is the plant uh, percentage completion, which part is the actual percentage completion. And here, go to layout, axis titles, primary horizontal axis title, title below axis, so as you can see here, for example, AGH project, the percentage, the percentage completion, the plan was 10%. So in here, as you can see, it's in 10%. So this axis is plant completion. This in person. And for this axis, we'll again go to axis titles, primary vertical axis rotated title, this is actual completion and percentage. So, as you can see, our, our diagram is prepared here. I hope this video was helpful. And you might know that the bubble charts are also used in risk management. I will prepare a separate video for bubble charts and risk management. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching.